Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Paula Zen here. Today we're doing a reading for the 29th of March to the, to the 4th of April 2021. Okay, for those of you returning to my channel, thank you for trusting and thank you for coming back. And for all the new joiners, welcome to this channel. I invite you to like and subscribe, to join our community, to join our channel, where I post on a regular basis readings um coaching as well all in terms focusing on your guidance and the healing on your journey so let's start with this reading we're starting taking three cards from the major arcana first card it will be the current energy second card it is the future energy and the third card the message from your guides from your spiritual guides from the universe whichever entity you follow okay now i just want to remind you this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everyone if you're interested in a personal reading please do uh, check the description box below on how to book a reading and for now let's get on with your reading the magician in the current energy the star in the future energy and the hermit as the advice wow very good scorpio it's you have an amazing current energy here like all this reading looks really really good um as well okay you have your you, you're in a very sensitive moment right now as in you can Feel the energy, your um, your vibration is very much aligned with what you want. Because again, we see here this um, the magician is like you know exactly what you want. You know how to achieve what you need to achieve. You have all the tools around you. Everything is in perfect conditions. And we also have with that, we have this tree of wands, which is sort of a wishing coming true for me. Okay. It's a very strong card. So you have two very strong and fast cards at this moment. So it kind of feel like for some people, things are developing pretty fast and in a very positive way towards what you've been wanting to co-create here with the magician and the tree of wands because this tree of wands bring you i don't know if you can see here brings you an opportunity so this opportunity most likely it is in relation to what you've been wanting to manifest what you've been working on whether it's in your dreams whether it's in your during your day you're um daydreaming or even working um proactively on your law of attraction on manifesting the things that you want focusing on all the things that you want and definitely things are coming your way on the future we have the star with the seven of cups so it's like there's a lot of things here coming to you they might feel like they come to you very easily it's not that they come to you very easily you've been working on it okay direct or indirectly whether you realize it or people around you realize it or not you've been working on this and you've been guided to go towards this thing and the the good thing here is that whatever you decide you will be guided to do the right thing because you have several choices here okay you're spoiled for choice because you have several talents here whichever decision you're looking to get okay like for me a lot of times this star comes as a guiding star your your spiritual guide someone that pass over and it's guiding you it's like your guardian angel okay and he's assisting you in healing whatever needs to be healed so that you can move forward and make your 
proper decisions here, okay? Because this card, it's related to Archangel Jophia, which is the Archangel that assists you in beautifying, sorry, beautifying the things around you. Even if you're not feeling very confident with yourself, with your body, with the way you look or the way you act or something, when we ask upon this Archangel, she asks, she helps us to beautify the things, okay? She's very good in terms as well of self-love of even the home if you feel that your home it's like the energies are stuck so you can always ask her assistance to help you declutter your house or anything and make choices okay make good choices and help her to realize what is the the best choice for yourself and this is why you come here as well with all these options okay it's time to take action and this star it's definitely telling you you can do anything that you want you just have to make a choice and what is she asking you is you have to make a choice okay listen to yourself it's a water it's a your water sign and this is all about cups here so definitely listen to yourself okay even if you need go within a little bit more because there's a lot of success here a lot of blessings coming your way okay now in the advice from your guides we have the hermit with the five of cups so here what I'm what I'm what I'm feeling here with this hermit and the five of cups is that even though you have a lot of options here you are mainly focusing on the things that you had to let go okay you're focusing very much on the okay I'm going to do this but I'm going to lose that I can have this but I'm going to lose so it's always this less positive part that it keeps coming to your head rather than focusing on exactly what you still have what you can use with what you have what you can take advantage of the new opportunities you are focusing more on the things that you maybe lost maybe finished maybe you had to let go or you were forced to let go Okay, so they're asking you here to focus on the things that you have. And one thing that you will always have, it's your intuition, okay? So this is a good time to focus on your intuition, to focus on yourself. Because once you take care of yourself, all the answers, is good. they're going to come from within you. And you're going to realize that there is always a better option if something doesn't go our way it's clearly that the universe is is bringing us something much better okay that we're not fo we're not realizing at this moment we can't really understand at this moment so work work definitely on your um your self discovery maybe if you're not able to do this on your own it would be advantages as well if you get maybe a coach or a mentor, um, I don't know, a wellness coach, a life coach, uh, a meditation center or anything that will help you and assist you and give you good tips and recommendations to listen to yourself, okay? Because you have a lot of good, of good cards here, good vibrations wishes coming true so you just need to focus on yourself rather than focusing so much on everything that is around you focus on what you have inside okay because that is the main tool that you have Don't look so much at what you lost, okay? Look at what you have. Say if we say about looking at um, a glass, if it's half full or half empty, focus on the half full and not on the half empty, okay? 
okay this message might be useful for some people it just came right now like that so it could be for some of you needing to hear this so what advice do we have shaman maybe a shaman ancient healing wisdom if you have been in touch with the shaman if you know or if you have some curiosity have a look into this okay this could be of great great help for you we just mentioned some type of healing here coach or anything so a shaman could be helping you to sort some issues from within okay a full moon completion we just after a full moon still under the influence of a full moon by the time you are reading um this um you're watching this reading okay so on this full moon there's probably some completions happening for you if not this full moon could be the next one okay so if you're watching this way after the more than two days after the full moon maybe focus up to the next full moon okay to um let go what doesn't serve you and work on completing other the other stuff okay um committing to yourself to the new things because of course the full moon it's always a completion and end of a cycle as we know our life it's all based on cycles so on the full moon it's a completion of a cycle so it's time to let go what doesn't serve and be ready for the new to come and we have whale breach again this breach it's very much for me really resonates with this five of cups okay because rather than focusing on the things that were that are gone that doesn't serve you anymore focus on the things that you have and breach that need you know when you, you just you're just feeling like i can't do anything i can't do anything let go of that okay open yourself to the new open yourself to the adventure okay open your eyes to your inner guide to your inner child and because the answers are there and they're right there waiting for you to say help me here and they will help you to breach that and to just unfold into the world okay this is amazing i i really enjoyed this reading um scorpio i hope you enjoyed this reading please let me know in the comments below once again, I invite you to like and subscribe to my channel, share with your family and friends, and until next time, have a wonderful week.